All right, just gonna test this out real quick. This is my world. So just turning around, um, that's where I spawned, is over in that general direction. I don't have the render distance right now to far, it's just simply on normal. Notice what you can see, not a whole lot. There's a, a sandbar out there, there's a small chunk there, there's some small stuff out in the distance, but there's really not much, so. This is my home. As you can see, it's a pretty small island. We've got some docks. House is pretty small inside. Only 5x4 interior space. But that's enough to keep four furnaces. This is just some quick crap I need to get in case I just get back to spawn my workbench. And down here, I have categorized storage. So this is sand stuff, gravel stuff, dirt wood and things that, I guess, grow. Stone, including some mossy cobblestone from a dungeon. Valuable materials, including some obsidian, some diamond. And uh, things I get from creatures, wool, leather, spider silk, feathers, gunpowder, etc. And that's it right now in terms of home. You can see I have a nice skylight. So how I get around is by boat. So let's go to the mine shaft. I didn't want to actually build my home for whatever reason. I decided I'd actually have a dedicated mine shaft and I'd hook these up eventually. You see there's another island out here. But uh, for the time being I've kept them separate. And this is a smaller island, as you can see. Okay. So sort out. One of the benefits of the islands is, since it's easy to light the entire thing, that there's no hostiles that spawn. So I never have to worry about hostiles in the overworld. And even they spawn on the islands, they're too far out. So this is my mine shaft. This, uh, oops. You can see I have some other quick storage back here, including a nice diamond pick. And, uh, hey chicken. There we go. Oh, and you knocked my boat away. Anyways, I've got a workbench and some storage here. And this goes down. Down, down, down. The torches here are every four blocks in depth, and the glass floors are every eight blocks in depth. And the reason I do this is because it's very easy to establish a depth gauge. Right now, there's two parallel shafts inside this, uh, or tunnels inside here. This is one of them. But the primary one is actually down here. And the floor I'm standing on is 54 blocks below sea level, and this sign's at 52. And down there is actually bedrock. So I think it's, I think it's 60 below, and 64 as low as you can get, so. What did I do down here? Well, first you'll notice well, first I'll notice some obsidian, so I was actually breaking into lava and I ended up casting it with water, which is kind of why I keep this water bucket around, just in case. Uh, the torches here are also every four blocks, so you can get an idea as to how deep this is. But yes, you see it's blue at the end. That's not actually a light. This is so deep, the game's render distance doesn't go out that far. So what you're actually seeing is the skybox at the end of the render distance. This is so deep. Uh, this was the start of a lava river and a regular river that I found and they end up actually becoming a problem much deeper in. So I think right there that was only about 150 blocks in and I started running into problems about, um, oh I don't know, like 450, 480 blocks in. I don't know, I don't think anyone's counting the torches right now. This is pretty deep. Uh, the plan eventually is once I have enough iron is I'm going to lay some tracks and I'm going to basically create a minecart system. Okay, so down there you you can see some little blackness where my cursor is and that's actually obsidian and that's a ton of it. I actually had to dig that out. Uh, I ran into lava and I was in water and I was running into zombies dropping into the lava and water in front of me so I had to take care of the problem. So I ended up building this offshoot. Um, which is basically 
basically takes me to where I want. And I end up eventually having to dig the secondary shaft this deep, just so I could kind of get in and out a little more easily. So I end up finding this cave system. As you can see, there's still some redstone stuff down there. There's gold down there. But that river goes all the way back to where we saw that obsidian. So does that lava. I mean, it's just everywhere. And the other problem I was finding is I kept dealing with zombies. The billions of them that were spawning. And this is what they were spawning from. This is the spawner. I already took the chests. There was uh, nothing crazy, but there was some good stuff in it. So I was pretty happy to find it. Eventually I'm going to turn this into a trap. And uh, then I can just farm feathers all I want. It'll just kind of collect on its own. And so this, this goes down a ways, still. And it's getting to the point now where I'm almost about 600 blocks in. And above me, for the most part, has been the ocean the entire time. And so this goes back down to the, uh, the main shaft. And the main shaft goes further, because that's what I'm currently working on. So it's a little crazy, but so here's where I ran into the lava problem. And I actually had to carve this out with a diamond pick. And uh, you can kind of get an idea as to the rest of it. And it's pretty neat. This is my current project. So the goal is, is once I make this, I think about 1.2 kilometers deep, or about 1,200 blocks, I will actually be able to come up onto a continent. And then I will dig up and I will consider establishing a base. And yeah, I was digging in here because I kept finding iron and redstone and coal. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> Nothing crazy yet. It's still the beginnings. But eventually I'd like to have my little underground railroad. <laughs>